see this gap here. Those are the kind of things that we're concerned about. Okay. Part of what we're dealing with, and I know the question is going to come up, you know, what if, you know, obviously the house is out of level, everything is sloping down this way, so the windows aren't closing right. How do you, you know, they, they go up and down fine, but how do you get them to meet properly? I mean, look at this. I mean, look. I got a big old gap right there. You see that? You know, how are we gonna how are we gonna address that okay well um so what okay so a couple of things like you know and we're gonna go through and i'm gonna kind of tweak and adjust these but you know when the house it shifts and it falls this way okay what what uh what you have is if you've got these rectangles here okay they're all connected and the, the, the parts of the rectangle that are um, vertical like this, they tend to stay parallel, okay? I mean, eventually they could move, but mostly what you're dealing with is the bottom, which is like the sill and the header that are now at a slope, okay? And there's different ways that you can address that. Um, one is obviously what if okay we've got this whole angle right here okay so look, i've got that's probably three quarters of an inch here and here it's touching so maybe one of the option is is i could make a mark you know let's see i'm going to use this these are um okay, let's take a let's take a look, look at these can you get these in the in the, in the picture this is a, uh, what you call a scribe. This is made by a company called General Tool. And you used to be able to get these at Home Depot, but remember, Home Depot no longer sells anything that's actually useful to you. So you have to go online and you have to find it, all right? General Tools, okay? It's like three or four bucks, okay? So the cool thing about it is, is you put your pencil in there, whatever one you want. This is obviously an old pencil. And then you can adjust the gap and then you can tighten it with this bolt here wing nut where you want it so i could you know just adjust that there see i know what the space is here see that okay i could come all the way down here you know i could make a mark like that okay and I can cut that off. Look what that does to the window sash though. Okay, now, see how much that line? I might have to do some of that, okay? But look, I'm also gonna have to do that at the bottom. Because look, look, if we look at the bottom, look, you've got kind of like, you've got this, the, same, the same problem, but in reverse, okay? So I could, you know, do that, okay? And, you know, take the whole line all the way down, you know, and that would fit. I mean, that would then, you know, that would, that would follow that sill. It would actually fit down flat. But now what I don't know is whether it would meet right here. Okay. Because what if I cut too much off the bottom? And what if I cut too much off the top? Oh, and that's a problem. Okay. Um, is there a tape over there? Can I see a tape? There should, there should be one, right? Oh, this is one of you guys' tapes. One of you guys' magic tapes. Yeah, I'm going to open that. All right, we got one here. Oh, well, it's in the back. It's in the Okay, so let's let's see what now this this is this sash is up pretty much as far as it's gonna go really kinda and this sash is as far down as it's gonna go 
But now I've got another problem. Look. Um, look, okay. Now, I see there's so many variables you got to deal with, okay? Maybe the sash is a little loose, and now the whole thing is kind of rocking this way. So this side is actually lower. This closer to meeting right here. You know, this this uh, this uh, this other sash right there. What you're looking for is look. See this right here? This is this is this is the kind of a fit you're looking for. See how nice and flush that is all the way across. Okay. This one, happily, we didn't have to do anything to. You know, this was Joel's window, and he just got the luck of the draw, his is perfect, all right? We didn't do anything, this, but this is what you want when you're done, is you want this flushness here, okay? That's so nice. And here, look, you don't have that. You've got, you're almost touching here, but you're high right there. So what you have to do now is go, you know, let that, Anxiety just kind of leave your body, you know, because you can get anxious at this point. Take that deep breath. Now, what I'm going to do is look. What I, I'm going to I'm going to position these window sashes in the opening so that this line here, this this meeting rail and that meeting rail are somewhat parallel. Watch. I'm just going to see inside of that. Okay, and. That's about parallel. I can feel, I feel it with my fingers. It's about parallel. And I'm gonna measure what that distance is with this measuring tape. And it says, this is a half inch there. This is a half inch there. So I got it, I got it parallel. Okay, so what I what what I what I now am am dealing with is okay, my my sashes are in the opening like like they should fit this way okay and they are parallel with one another this face and that face is kind of like the two squares are lined up okay and what needs to happen now is from this position now i can start to determine what i can cut okay and so if I want now if I want these if I want this sash to go up and this sash to go down and I want them to meet in the proper way in the middle, okay? What I what I do now is well, remember, what was this measurement? Was it a half inch? Alright, I take half of that, which is a quarter, okay, and I cut that quarter inch off of the bottom parallel with the sill. Ah, oh, does that make sense? Okay. And I take that same quarter inch off up there, parallel with this header piece. This, you know, this, this is the header up here. Okay. And when I do that, they will, if I take a quarter inch off of that, take a quarter inch off of this, they should line up in the middle. Does that make sense? Okay. You guys, are you guys able to follow that? Because that adds up to half inch. That adds up to a half. Okay. So what I can do is I can take my my scribe here and I can go to a quarter of an inch. Okay. There. And that's what I will do. So. Keeping it parallel, I'm gonna like that. What I'm gonna do is make, make sure make sure it's still parallel. It is, okay. I'm gonna cut this much off. Okay? See that? That's my mark. I'm gonna cut that off. Now that's assuming that this is 
this this parting bead is parallel with this, but it looks like it is. Okay, and then I'm going to go outside. Okay, I'm taking the same exact measurement. And I'm going to transfer the same measurement to the window sash on the outside using the sill because I want that to drop down exactly like this. Okay, so let's go outside and do that. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll get the sashes and put them on the table. So, just gonna take it, take this here, and I'm just gonna mark that all the way down. And that, look, I don't have, to, I can't take off a lot, so I'm still gonna be left with a gap over here and a gap up there. But maybe it will be enough so that it will close and be sealed, both top and bottom. Okay. So this is my mark here. Now, this is this mark here. I have to cut at an angle of 10 degrees, sloping upward. This one, I've got to cut. Um, it's 90 degrees um, with you know with the sash. I've got two different saws out for that right now. You don't always need two saws, but I do have. Okay. So I'm gonna take these sashes out. And take these things, okay? reason why we can take the sash out that fast is because we did all the work ahead of time to make it possible to take the sash out. See? Okay. Without having done the work that we did, this would not be so easy. But now it's easy because we did our setup first. Okay. I mean, the window was in there. It was secure. So we're going to make it fit right now. Fit better. better from this position. Okay. And this is Scott's here that we cut to 10 degrees. So this is a, um, a homemade saw guide. I've got a video on YouTube on how to make a homemade saw guide. I recommend it. You know, because not everybody can afford one of those, uh, what do you call it, those, they, they have these that, that if they, if they they make them, um, they've got these special tracks, special saws to fit in the special track, you know. But the way we learned, we made our own track, you know. And you have to buy the saw. And these tracks here become somewhat disposable. Okay. So let me take Scott's saw. Here it is. That. 10 degrees. And Marcy, can you come maybe give this, this angle here? Okay, I'm going to do 10 degrees here on my saw. Job of cutting that straight. Alright. What do you guys can you take this inside? Set it inside so that it's ready to go.
this is my sign and degree uh, saw guy. Wanna go hang that for us? But again, I see this is the importance of the setup, all right? Because if you have this, if you have it set up properly, now you can do stuff like this without much fuss. I mean, it's hard enough as it is, right? So if you can make it simple. Be has to go in. So this is down. The proper parting bead installation position. Okay. So let's see. Now, now here, I'll, I'll, just a, here's a little quick little hack, okay? While we're, oh, I see the closes all the way. Or uh, you can't see the light. On this, at this, at this stage, you don't have to put the ropes on because we're just going to check to see if it lines up. Okay, you just set it in there and see what happens. Okay? If you got to take it out again, then you just have to take it out. Oh. Man. I am like, oh my goodness. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, it turned out so good, you know? Oh. See, now you can put a lock back on there. Give it a lock. Wow. All right, so, uh, I think that will, that will be able to conclude the camera work. And thank you for watching.